Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of our Mercedes Sprinter camper conversion. Today we're going to be installing the water system in the van. We've already done a previous video on the water system that we're going to be installing. If you haven't already seen that we'll put a link to the video just up here. But today we're actually going to be fitting that inside the van. We're going to be showing you where we're going to be fitting it, how we're going to be running all of the pipe work underneath the van and also installing it from an electrical point of view as well. If you're new to this channel, hello and welcome. I'm Ben, we've also got Charlotte here working on the camper van. We're building this camper van in the pursuit of being able to travel around a little bit more in Europe, do a little bit longer travel, make it completely off grid so that we don't have to stay on campsites. If you'd like to follow along with our journey, remember to hit that subscribe button down at the bottom and remember to hit the notification bell to get notified of when we put up new videos. This is another video in our Mercedes Sprinter camper van conversion that we're doing. If you haven't already seen the videos, we'll put a link to the playlist just up here. Go and check out all of our other videos up until this point. And if you like this video, remember to give us a big thumbs up. So let's get out to the van and go and install that. So the first bit that we need to do is we need to take our flexible blue hose and we need to pass that down through a hole underneath the van and then run it along to our water tanks. So to do that we're going to be using a 25mm hole bit. We're going to be drilling down through the flooring in the corner of the van and then down through the floor, through the metal flooring and then out into the bottom of the van. So let's get on and drill the hole. Okay. So we've now drilled our hole down through the van and we fed the blue water pipe up. Only just need a small amount of pipe this end just so it goes into the water pump. So we'll be fitting this into the strainer valve of the water pump and then the other end of the pipe which is currently just laid out on the floor will be fed underneath the van and then attached onto the water tanks underneath. So underneath the van now We've run our blue water pipe down underneath the chassis. Cable tied it all up out of the way so it's not interfering with any mechanical parts or not going to drag on the floor. And then we've run that all the way down underneath the van to our fresh water tank, which is just under behind the driver's seat up near the front of the van. And then we've Jubilee clipped that into the nozzle that comes out of the side of the water tank. Obviously you want to make sure that you're not interrupting any mechanical parts or anything that you need to remove like the spare wheel just here we've just made sure that it's out of the way of the spare wheel cage and also any suspension components just here by the back wheels just made sure that it's all out of the way and it's not going to get snagged when anything moves or if you need to get to anything you're not going to have to cut any cable ties away for the water. So the next stage is we're going to be attaching the water pump, strainer valve and accumulation vessel just onto the side wall here and then we'll be connecting all the pipe work up. So these devices just screw into this wall panel, just screw into the piece of wood obviously on top of the carpet and then we'll be connecting all the pipe work up. So the first component that we're going to be putting up on there is the water pump. Obviously we need to connect the uh, filter valve onto the side of it. What we're going to be doing is just applying a piece, some PTFE tape just around the thread. This is just thread seal tape, just gives you a bit of a better connection on your threads. All you do is you just make sure you've got a nice flat piece of tape and then you just wrap it around the thread itself and then when you screw another device onto here this just grips into the threads and just gives you that extra little bit of water seal. Obviously you don't want any water leakage out of here so connect that round, make sure it's all sealed on and then just get your other device you want to screw on and just screw this around onto the thread. Like so. and as you can see the thread then has got the PTFE tape attached so you shouldn't get any leakage out of here. We're going to be leaving this underneath facing down. We'll be doing this on all the threads so whatever we're connecting in the next one we'll be doing is connecting in the pipe connector so we'll be connecting this onto this side here so again another piece of PTFE tape around the thread obviously you want to make sure that you're not blocking any of the end so you don't want any tape down inside the actual hole itself so wrap it around nice and tight 
like so. Obviously you don't want any thread blocking any of this hole here so just make sure that it's nice and clear, you don't have any blockage and then just screw your attachment on giving you nice that nice watertight seal that you need. Connect it up nice and tight. So this is going to sit like this and then we'll connect it around. So there we go, so we've got those connected up. What we're going to be doing now is we're going to be fitting this onto the wall. I'm going to fit in this quite low. Obviously it's got these nice little rubber feet that we've got here just to take out any vibration. So we'll just be putting some screws through here and then attaching it onto the wall of the van just in here so then we can connect our water pipe in. So we've now got the adapter piece in, joined in, and we're now going to attach in the accumulator valve. Again, it just screws onto the other side of the connection piece, so we'll do that now, and then we'll screw that onto the wall as well. So we now have the water pump installed on the side of the van, and then we've got the strainer, and then we have the accumulator tank over on the left-hand side just here. The pump does have an inlet and outlet side on it, so just make sure that you get this run the right way, otherwise you'll be pumping water back into the tanks, or blowing air back into the tanks rather than pumping water out from them. We've also then got on the outlet now our blue water pipe at the moment, this is still just connected into a small tap, just so we can commission and test the water pump. So we're now going to be turning the electricity on, just making sure that everything works. While we're out here we also have wired up this outdoor socket. So this is a 240 volt socket that we're going to be able to use for 240 volt appliances. We put a waterproof one in here just as by the back doors. It's relatively close to the back door and obviously if you've got the back doors open and it does start to rain or you do splash any water onto it, it just protects that a little bit more. Don't necessarily need a waterproof one in here, obviously it's inside the van but we just thought it's better just to have one and all that's done is it's just wired back into our 240 volt system in the back we've just put a small splitter box just underneath the distribution box which is then going out into the cab of the van but also then bringing back here as well and then we've tapped the cables up it can be a really handy addition just to be able to run any small 240 volt appliances Charlotte's also gone in this weekend and carpeted the pillars. If you haven't seen our carpeting video, go check that out. We'll put a link to the video up in the top of this one. But we've just carpeted in on the pillars, just got rid of that white metal look. It just removes the metal finish and just adds that nice finished carpet look. We've done it on this side, still got to do it on the right hand side. And then we've also carpeted the wood beam along the bed just so that when you're looking from the back of the van you're not seeing this wood. So just showing that this carpet that we're using is really versatile. You can use it pretty around, put around pretty much anything, wood, metal and it just gives that nice finished clean look to the garage area. So that's it for another week of our Mercedes Sprinter camper conversion video series. We put up a new video every Sunday, so check back in next Sunday for the next episode of this Mercedes Sprinter camper conversion. Until then, hope you have a good week. Bye.